Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with our next topic which is installation of ABAP development tools in HANA Studio. Okay, so HANA Studio actually is one of the Eclipse based client tool using which we connect to HANA database and all our development and support work is done from HANA Studio. So we install the ABAP development tools also in the HANA Studio so it's a single place to perform all our development and support or modeling work from HANA Studio itself. So in this training we will see how we can install a web development tool normally called as ADT. Okay, so what we will do is we are in the HANA Studio right now and in that you can see that there is a help tab click on help and under that click on install new software. Okay, so in this tab what we will do is we will be installing the new software which is ADT and this is how we can install new softwares into HANA Studio. Okay, so this is these are the two clients that we are going to install. So first is this one that is for Eclipse Kepler. So we'll just copy paste this URL here. Okay, and click on Add. Okay, without specifying a name, we will just add it here. Okay, and you can see that these are the three tools that it will install. One is ABAP development tools for SAP NetWeaver, HANA Cloud Tools, UI development toolkit for HTML5. Okay, the next thing is from Juno website, we will be installing the Eclipse Juno 4.2. Okay, so just copy that URL, paste it here and click on add. Okay, just mention OK and you will see that that is also get added here. Okay, let's select everything and we will just select click on next and you can see that it is calculating the requirement and dependencies here and once it calculates the dependencies and the requirements what it will do is it will show you the different components and the version that it is going to install so this is the list of so you can see that connectivity and integration development tool ABAP core development tools ABAP development tools for SAP HANA so this is the list of all the things that it is going to install so let's click on next tab here and you can see that these are the different licenses that it will that is required for this and we will just accept this license terms and click on finish so now it is starting to install these softwares one by one so the installation will continue it will take some time it will take a couple of minutes so about two to three minutes it takes for installation and at the bottom you can see that instantly installing software 28 percent and it is showing the progress here so this is moving forward and here you will see the progress that what is going on with this particular installation okay so Let's wait for a few minutes before this completes. Okay, so you can see that it's 30% now. And once this installation is complete, so what we will see is we will be seeing a perspective called ABAP perspective. Okay, so using that perspective, we will connect to the ABAP systems directly. So we'll just specify the system number the client the username the password for that system and we can connect straight away from the ABAP perspective to the ABAP system so the beauty of this particular perspective is that you can connect to HANA studio the all the views which are available like calculation views the analytic views and on the other side you can see all the programs in AC38 you can run those programs you can cre create the programs here in the studio in a 